Okay, let's get started. Hey, to Dutch. Hey, close. Good, so what I want to do is I'm going to build on some concepts that De Deb and Greg did, as well as some of you who were in, um, in my morning classes, right? So MP anyone, right? If you should notice some clear parallels between what's been going on today and what's been go what we've been working on for the last couple of weeks in MP, yeah? Um, what I want to do today is I'm going to work on some parallels with Deb and Greg stuff, but also leaking a little bit into what Matt did last week. Okay, so they're all connected. Kalati's very, very connected. And what I'm going to do primarily is I'm going to shift your focus from what's important. So today, what I want to do is, yes, hips are important. Yes, legs and leg drive is important. You train with me for more than two minutes, you know that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift your focus a little bit to two things. One of them is your rest, the other is your breathing, because these two things can allow correct tension at the right time. It can be a good timer but also it allows you to relax and move on to the next technique, okay? So that's what my plan is in the 25 minutes or so that I have. Sound good? Okay, so our first drill, real easy. Stand here, just feet parallel, turn your fists over so that they're palm up. And what I want you to do is I want you to really kind of screw this arm around, really turn it, right? Then from here, those who are here training with me on Thursday, remember this. From here, all I want you to do is you're going to rotate your wrist and you're going to just turn boom, up like so. So all I want you to do is rotate your wrist from here to here. It's just going to turn. Ready? So let's do it together. Ready? Hey, itch, up. Knee, screw it down. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee. Good, and relax. The idea here is you're going to turn your radius and ulna in your wrists and your arms. Twist, twist, twist each time. Now what I want you to think this time is that there is no beginning, middle, and end. There's simply beginning and end. Beginning and end. So all you're going to do is I don't want you to think about, oh my goodness, I've got to move my arm up through the shoulder joint. I've got to lift this. All I want you to do is turn your wrist. Turn your wrist, it's up. Turn your wrist, it's down. Turn your wrist, it's up. Turn your wrist, it's down. Make sense? So let's try it. All I want you to do, just turn your wrist. Twist it up. Ready, hey, itch, twist. 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 Completely relax. Just think. Just twist your wrist as fast as you can. Itch. Boom. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Good. And relax. So all of a sudden what you notice is the technique feels lighter. If you sit there and you think about, oh my goodness, I've got to push this up and pull it down. You can see the difference in my body. If I think simply about turning my wrist, click, it's up. Click, it's down. Click, it's up. Click, it's down. Make sense? Okay, this time what I want you to do is each one I want you to think about breath. So as you make the up, I want it to be here and hold. As you go out, make sure you're breathing and then grab. Does that make sense? And again, I'm making my breath louder so you can hear it, but I want to have the wrist, that rotation, that sort of snap and that stop of the wrist coinciding with the breathing stopping. <sighs> this feeling. Again, no middle. Just beginning, end. Beginning, end. That's it. Ready? Hey. So think about breath. The count's going to be associated with this. If you want extra work, of course, Make kibadachi right completely up to you. Ready? But the point is the wrist. So wrist turn, ready? Itch! Knee, bring! Itch! Knee! Itch! Knee! Itch! Knee! Itch! Knee! Itch! Knee! Itch! Knee! Itch! Knee. Good, and relax. Okay, next one. What I want you to do 
is I want you to breathe in and then out. So it's going to be in, out. And all I want you to do is a quick breath. And just this feeling, not as labored, again I'm demonstrating, but I want it to be just out your nose, just here, in out. This feeling, the coincide, the at the end, and the at the end. So, this feeling. Again, relax your shoulders, just think wrist turn. That's all I want you to think. Nothing else, nothing else matters except turn your wrist and breathe with the technique. Breathe with it in concert, yeah? So from here, kibidachi, wherever you're comfortable. Hey, ready? In, out. Ish. Knee. Sun. Good, now as you breathe, don't lift your shoulders, don't make it this kind of breathing. Keep your shoulders down, just breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Does that make sense? Try again, ready? Ish. And again, I'll come up so you can hear. She. Go. Oh. She. Hatch. Good. So be hard with the wrist turns. Remember, all the way from here, all the way around. It won't turn any further. Don't go halfway. Squeeze here. Squeeze here. Turn that little finger so it's like pointing at the back wall. That's what you're after. Full squeeze, full squeeze. This time, change the breathing pattern. From here, out, in. This way, ready? Out, in. Ish. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Oh. Sheesh. Hush. Two. Good, and relax. One more, this time out, out. So every technique you throw in karate shouldn't be this big sort of hum, and then you've got nothing left in the tank. It should be a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. And if you look, just a couple of weeks ago, I think Scott Langley posted something about the idea of pulse breathing, yeah? This idea of just pushing a little bit of air out of the lungs, flexing the diaphragm and just keep going. What you'll notice naturally as you're doing the out in, it's forcing you to, at the zenth or the height of the breath, it's forcing you to just flex for that split second through your diaphragm, yeah? And that coincides with the wrist rotation. When you relax it down, that, that coincides with this flexation of the diagram, diaphragm. So by doing sort of in out, it gives you a very clear apex and relaxation where you flex the diaphragm here and here, right? In the two places that you need to. And then immediately, because you're immediately breathing out or breathing in, it allows you to continuously flow into that next technique with a very sort of sharp corner, a very sharp edge, which with this kind of movement is very extreme. That's what it should do. So this time, think about it as out, out. So it'll be here. So don't make it sort of an hour and a half later, scratch your bum, then this. Don't make it that, make it rather this idea of just <laughs> as you become more and more. So if you're an orange belt, right, you might be <laughs> if you're a brown belt, you might be <laughs> as you're a shodan, nidan, sanan, yonan, godan, that <laughs> in the middle becomes less and less. It becomes more. <laughs> so you end up with this idea of more, at the beginning it might be <laughs> as you progress it becomes And you can hear two breaths, two distinct <coughs> as it goes. Let's try. Ready? So, out and in, again, wrist rotation is the key. Rotate, rotate, that's all I care about. You're, there is no middle. These are very short, sharp breaths. Itch! You must rate, you must beat me. Knee! Some! Chi! Go! Oh! Chish! One more! Hush! 
Good, and relax. Good, so why, where does this kind of drill come from? Well, those of you that have done, this is introduced in Tiki Shota. So all I'm doing here is a modification of the twist, the push, the rotation of the wrist. The twist, the push, the rotation of the wrist. That technique in Tiki Shodan, for those who know it, it's all about this wrist rotation, all about this wrist rotation as it comes across. And that follows with your body, right? So that's all this drill is, is a modification to help you. It's, it, that drill comes from a modification from Tiki Shodan to help you improve that piece of the kata. Next thing I want you to do, we're going to do just stepping forward. You're going to make Geram Marai. We're going to do it Gyakuzuki. We're going to do it in three counts. On edge for the low, I want you to twist your front wrist right over. Don't lift your elbow. Whoop, that switches your shoulder up. Keep it down. Keep your elbow down as it should be. Make sure that twist is in the forearm. Your rear hand, the blocking hand, don't just be soft in this wrist. Tighten it. Yeah, yeah, all the way around. When you make the block, simply twist this hand. Twist this hand. Don't worry about the motion going out. Just twist your wrist. Boom, it's out. Does that make sense? All I want you to think about is twisting the wrist. Just twist the wrist. Oh, huh, it's there. Your body will do the rest. Trust in it. You've all trained long and hard enough. On the Gyakuzuki, of course, my wrist is now twisted, twisted, twisted down this way, twisted this way, right, to make, make the block that I want. Now simply twist this wrist, twist this wrist to make the punch. So you're not thinking about throwing a punch. You're simply twisting your wrist. That's all I want you to do. So, ready? We're going to step forward. I'll do it. Oh, I'll give you my best side. Following my left leg, stepping in, twist your wrist. That's all you need to do. Trust in the rest of your karate. It will work. Today is a training aim about twisting your wrist, using your breath. That's all. Trust that the rest of your karate is there, yeah? Okay, ready? So from here, it's twist. Knee, twist. Sun, twist. Good. Now come up. Same again, opposite side. Twist. Good, push it out. Twist. Twist. Good, and up. One more, opposite side. Twist. 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 Good, coming up. Opposite side. Twist. 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 Good, coming up. So your twist gives you that tension. This is indicative, and I'm only going to show you in this example, because we have very short time, with Geram Rai. But when you make Agyuke, twist, 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 Sotuke, twist, 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 Uchuke, here, twist, right, Shituke, here, twist, right through the wrist. Not this sort of, sort of, ta-da, big twisty, but this action of the radius and ulna is endemic to many many, many karate techniques. And so making use of that twist at the end or during the entire technique can significantly change your attention, your focus from muscling the technique out to snapping the technique out or firing it out. Again, this is not how you do the technique, but this is an aid to help you do your karate better. Does that make sense? So what I want you to do is let's try it with Gera Marai. This time we're going to do it one, two, three on the count of three. So the same as what you did. And then we're going to change it up for the second round. Ready? This time from here, you breathe either in or out, up to you for the first. Ish. Now breathe out. Knee. Now breathe out. Sun. So what you have is this flow of breath. Hop, hop, hop. Does that make sense? Come back. Think wrist rotation, opposite side. Breathe out. One. Breathe out. Breathe out. Good. Now, keep the out breath with it. Keep breathing with it. This time, stop. You're going to do the three movements in your own time. In your brain, I want my voice going twist, twist, twist. So each technique becomes this. I'm still breathing out each technique, but it becomes twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. As it goes. So each technique has an end point in the breath, an end point in the twist of my wrist. Twist, twist, twist. Not just light. Twist, 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 twist. This 
feeling. Does that make sense? And use your breath and couple it with that twist each time. All you're doing, if I did get on belay, is this is get on belay. Ready? With the next punch. Here we go. Twist, twist, there's the block, twist, there's the punch. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. So all I've done is I've reduced my karate to now <coughs> with my breath. Boom, boom, boom. Twist, twist, twist. This feeling. Ready? Ish. Breath, breath, breath. Good. Think. Don't go back to what you've always done. Twist, twist, twist. If you have to slow it down and slow your breath down, that's cool with me. Twist, twist. Feel the twist in the arms. Twist, twist, twist. This feeling. Left arm, uh, right side. Knee. Good. Left side. Twist, twist, twist. And again, breath. Listen to my breath. I'll come right up so you can hear me breathe. Right. Sun. You can hear. There's three breaths. Boom, boom, boom. As I go. And each one of those breaths, each one of those sort of hop, stop, hop, stop, hop, stop, is coincided, is linked with my wrist twisting. Right? This idea. So you end up with this flow of breath throughout the motion with the stop linked to here. So you end up with a stoppage of breath, a stoppage of rotation of marked by the rotation of the wrist. There's a third component we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. Let's try again, ready? Left side, ish. Good, and up. Knee. Again, sun. Chi. Good, and up. Excellent, so you get the idea? Very simple, but it places your mind in a different place and it forces your shoulders to relax. It forces your legs, it forces your hips to relax. Let's do another drill here. So this is one of the ways that, that Matt started his class out last week. Remember it was here, and you made just standing, and again, trust that your hips and body will do what they've been trained to do. This is all about wrist. From here, simply rotate your wrist, make argue case. So I'm standing here in relaxed stance, right, I'm happy, shazam time. Just rotate your wrist, argue can. Itch. Good. Now my wrist, of course, is rotated, yes? As I make the next technique, now twist the wrist. Sukuke. Don't worry about bringing it down, just twist your wrist. Click. Oh, it's there. Now twist your wrist again. Get on the And it's easy. Don't worry about sort of forcing your hips. Don't make it, look, ma, I'm using my hips. Don't use this. Rather, let them move naturally within the technique. Just here, oh, I'm a good, well-trained classic. My hips move, as are all of you. As I make the rotation across, my body relaxes, but then it connects. As it relaxes and my arm drops as I twist my wrist, it'll happen naturally. Allow that to happen. Let's make it here, three counts. Ready? Ish! Knee! Sum! Good. Other arm. Ish. Me. Sum. Ish. Me. Sum. Good. Now, if you feel like you're starting to muscle it, just think. No middle. The second you muscle, there's going to be a middle part of your technique. Remember, no middle. Beginning, end. Beginning, end. Beginning, end. Beginning, end. That's it. So you're looking for that nice, sharp rotation. Again, you're probably starting to naturally breathe with the technique. Or in, out, out. Doesn't matter what the breath is, as long as you're breathing throughout, yeah? Ready, hey. Ish, knee, sun. Be quick with those wrist turns. Ish, knee, sun. Ish, knee, sum. Don't muscle it, just wrist, 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 wrist. 
Very good. Now from here, throw it together. So what you want to do is use that rotation and notice how your wrist turn. When I release it, it naturally clicks into the next technique. Use that sort of hopping, that bouncing that Deb was talking about. So make the, the breath and the tension together. Then as you let that relax, as you let the breath go, that will automatically relax your muscles, which will allow you to rotate your wrist into the next technique. So the technique becomes now, instead of being the sort of it now becomes through, through, one, two, three, this feeling. So again, I'm using breath. I'm thinking of just rotating my wrist and making it very light and easy. Your turn, ready? Ish, me, sun, chi, go, oh, Change. Hatch. Two. Two. And relax. So all, you can imagine that all of your techniques, or many of them, if you break them down, it simply changes from one wrist rotation position to another rotation position. This is all of karate. And there are exceptions, obviously. Taisho Uchi, right? The Giri, the Mai Giri, right? The Yorko Giris. But they have what they use instead of a rotation in the wrist, they use a snap back of the technique. A, boom, a snap. A snap of the motion. Right? This, boom, this, this, right? All, most of the other techniques that exist use this rotational factor. So when Greg was talking about this idea of shifting back, what that does for me is it increases or decreases the ankle joint. It decreases this angle, which I'm using now woman, to go. It's the same as and then going, making kime and relaxing. It's that same sort of feeling, yeah? Right, let's do this in terms of one of our favorite techniques that instructors bring out on us all the time. So from here, just make get on benai nice and relaxed. Then make kame. Good, from here, using wrist ro your wrist rotation, simply rotate up, make agyuke again. I'm not too fussed. You know, let your hips move naturally, right? Don't force any of this. Just as you go, just think wrist rotation. It's the whole point of this class and think breath. That's all I want you to think about. Everything else will happen naturally, yes? So you're here, rotate the wrist up, make agyuke. Ish! Good, now from here, rotate the wrist, make sotuke, me. Now rotate the wrist, make geramurai, sam. Rotate the wrist, make uchuke, shi. Rotate the wrist, make kazamazuki, go. Now rotate this wrist, pull this one back, rotate the wrist, make yakuzuki, go. Good, this is the idea, and we see this drill constantly brought out, at least by my seniors, one, two, three, four, five, six. And people have trouble with this technique because it's sort of like, how do I create power? How do I generate? And you're trying to muscle your arm around. You don't need to. All it's looking for is breath, wrist rotation to happen together, combined, of course, with the back leg. We'll talk about that right at the end. So from here, think one, rotate your wrist. Two, rotate your wrist. Three, rotate your wrist. Four, rotate your wrist back. Five, rotate your wrist. Six, rotate your wrist. And it becomes easy. Right, let's move to my count. We're only gonna have time for one side. Before we'll do both. Okay, ready? Ish, me, sum, chi, go, ok. Good, relax. Ish. Rotate the wrist. Knee, rotate. Sun, rotate. 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 Good. Don't worry about any arc or preconceived path that the technique needs to take. Right? As I go from sutuke here, as I drop down, don't think that you have to swing your elbow out. The block is coming from my hip, 
rotating. It, my elbow just drops. So any motion of my arm, other than the wrist rotation through the simple drop, comes from my hip. That creates the distance for the block. When I make the Gana Marai, I simply straighten my arm, rotate my wrist, and the push comes from my back leg. When I do the next rotation, I simply rotate my wrist. Oh look, it's going to follow the natural action of my elbow. This will make the block, and my body makes the block itself. I don't need to worry about these big actions of my upper body. My legs are doing them all as I relax my body and my wrist rotates. When I make the kazami, my back leg fires the technique. When I make the gyatsuki, my back leg fires. You see, the, one, the components that we're talking about today is breath and the grabbing of that breath, rotation of the wrist to help time it, and the last piece that I spend a lot of time talking about normally, but not today, is the action of the driving leg as I move through. So even when I'm making sort of here, here, it's not just my arms left alone. Watch my back leg. It's here, my back leg pushes. 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 So it's this combination of the point of Kime, the point of breath, wrist rotation and back leg is a combination of my back leg pushing, my rotation happening and stopping, and my breath catching. And you want to make that for a split second, then immediately reverse your breath to relax it or continue, let your breath continue. And this helps you chain your techniques together. Does that make sense? That's the idea. That's what we're putting together today. Again, just thinking about wrist and breath, and then in another class, thinking about that rear leg, yes? So, one more time. Let's try it. Zinko two. I argue okay, first, just think wrist rotation and breath. We're good at moving our hands and our hips, right? Think about breath, wrist. Ish, knee, sun, chi, go. Oh, very good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the counter. So relax, it's going to be itchy, itchy sun, itchy sun chi, right? To go through it, ready? Itchy, sun chi, go, go. Good, and relax. Itchy sun, chi, go. Good, and oh, punch. That's it, good. I can't count, I'm an idiot. Ready? Okay. Ishi Sanchi. Go. Ish. Nisa. Chi go. And you can immediately start to see this flow and this completion. You must rotate, hit your wrist hard. You must breathe and grab for that split second. But you must immediately use your breath to allow you to relax. Allow either an in breath to do it or the continuation of that out breath from the hop or the grab, hop, let it go and use that hop to drive you or let you go into the next technique. That's the point of today. Okay? Right, with that, we'll stop here. Let's just cool off a little bit. So I was forward very, very short with me today. Sorry, everybody. First of all, um, thank you so much to both Greg and Deb for coming along, training with us. Um, also, you know, this again, it's been a year of doing this. Thanks to Matt Payne, thanks to George Vance, thanks to Mark Hinsborough, right? Um, who else? Thanks to Rob. Thanks to all of those who come on and taught, you know, with us, right? Have built this particular community. I'm thankful for it. It's motivated me in training over the last year and over COVID. This, um, I haven't trained with a human in the room in a year, but I've met so many new humans that do karate and I'm really thankful for that. Okay, so this has been really good. Good, and back, good, just loosen off side to side. Good, excellent. Hey, Mitsubidach. Good, whoop, wait a sec. Oh no, he's gone. Okay. Hey, Dutch. 
Good. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you again soon. Hey, us.